Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we're going to be talking about my highest conviction plays. I'm going to be sharing with you free altcoins, which I believe all can do very lucrative returns, whilst also mitigating extreme risk. The problem with cryptocurrency is in order to make a lot of money, you have to take big risks. But with this list, I personally don't think that's the case. These free altcoins still have a lot of upside potential left in the tank. However, the risk levels are relatively low in comparison to a lot of other coins which could do similar returns. So if that sounds interesting, please make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you're new. Also check out my WAP page linked in the description. You can join my VIP membership right now and get my buy and sell alerts before the prices start to rise. So get on if you're interested. Okay, so my free high conviction plays. Most of you who watch the channel a lot probably already know, but for those of you who don't, my free high conviction plays are Casper, Sui, and Batensa Tau. I think these three give you such a great balance into your portfolio. And I'm not really going to talk about each one of these completely individually in this video. I'm mainly going to talk about how the three complement each other and how they hedge each other in different ways. I will discuss them a little bit individually just for those who don't know anything about the projects. But for the most part, I'm going to discuss why I think these three are the three that you should have as opposed to maybe any other options in the market as a blue chip option. So let's start off with the differences. Casper obviously is a very decentralized coin. It's proof of work. It's extremely unique and it doesn't have any VC backing really or any VC allocation, which is the key part. Casper is 100% fur launched and all of the allocation is given to the public. So Casper is a one-of-a-kind crypto, which doesn't really compare to anything else other than really Bitcoin when it comes to that, okay? Sui is a very centralized coin in a lot of aspects, has a lot of similarities to something like Solana, it's proof of stake, and it has a lot of allocation giving to high capital VCs. So let's just start with these two. A lot of you guys may be asking me, why would you have these two coins when they're both completely opposite Surely one is a better setup than the other. And whilst I obviously, from a moral and ethical standpoint, prefer a coin which is very decentralized and all the allocations given to the public, it just doesn't seem to be the case in crypto where the most decentralized coins always win. Maybe in the long run that will be the case, but if you're talking X gains in the short term in the next year, you know, you want to have some allocation into coins which have the profile makeup of a successful crypto. And traditionally in the crypto market, the successful coins have been quite centralized and quite heavily VC backed, okay? Obviously, Bitcoin is the exception, but really when we look at the top 50 and the top 100, you've got coins like ICP, coins like Aptos, coins like XLM, you know, Crowcoin, which is very centralized. It's literally a coin of a centralized exchange. Injective, you know, there's big VC backing there with Injective. Same with Hedera HBAR, Phantom, Cosmos, and many, many other cryptos. They have a lot of VC backing and they're not proof of work, right? And in my opinion, to be sufficiently decentralized, you have to be proof of work. You can't be proof of stake. It's literally like printing money out of thin air. So whilst I, from an ethical standpoint, prefer proof of work as a form of cash, as an investment, I have to acknowledge the fact that many, many coins in the top 50 and the top 100 have very centralized you know, consensus mechanisms and also very centralized tokenomics. And Sui, I would perfectly put in that category of something like a Solana or an AVAX, okay? Now, the problem with these types of coins is they can do very well. Obviously, they make a lot of people a lot of money, but the main people who get rich from them are the insiders, are the early buyers, which quite often are the big money whales and VCs. So quite often, the game is a little bit rigged against retail. And quite often with these types of coins, you do get quite big dumps during a bear market. And it could even go completely wrong where the coin goes to zero. Take something like a Terra Luna. Okay, perfect example. Massive hyped up coin. VCs loved it. Big money loved it. And it literally went to zero because of the centralization. So that is always a potential concern, right? Don't get me wrong. They can do very well. Solana is a top five crypto. Yet it had a major, major bear market, you know, a few years ago with FTX and all this manipulation that happened. So do bear that in mind, guys. These types of coins can have brutal bear markets. However, they can have very, very bullish bull markets because the big money like it. And at the end of the day, the big whales drive the market and they want to make money. 
And for them to make money, the price has to pump. So if you can get in at a good price, like the prices we've been buying over in the VIP group, you know, around 70 cents, 60 cents around that level, you can make a lot of money. And if you look at coins like Cardano, coins like Solana, they went to around the 80 to 95 billion range in market cap. And if Sui does anything like that, you're talking easy gains. You know, you're talking 10 to 30 X on your money from this point right now. And if you bought in lower like we were, then maybe you could even make a 40 or a 50 X potentially. Okay. Don't get your hopes up, obviously, but these are potential returns. Now those returns are great considering this is a blue chip crypto. This is a crypto in the billions. It's not a low cap gem. It's not a high risk coin. This is a very well known blue chip crypto with a decent ecosystem and a decent community. So Sui is great. Casper obviously is, in my opinion, the best coin of this cycle. You can't really get anything better and anything more revolutionary than Casper. When it comes to a coin that actually has solved the trilemma, Casper is the clear example. When it comes to a team, Casper has one of the best teams. Okay, Jonathan Sompolinski behind it. Many people believe he's Satoshi. Sui also has a great team. Okay, the people from Meta, from Miston Labs, they are on the team of Sui. So both of these two blue chips have major, major blockchain giants in their team, which is key. Okay. The team is what makes a product or, or what makes a crypto, right? A crypto is only as good as the person or people that made it ultimately. Now, the reason why I like Casper and Sui in the layer one realm is because they perfectly balance out each other. You know, one gets the capital from the centralized side of things. One really, really is a, a coin approved by the VCs, approved by the big money whales. And then one is a coin which could really, really be hyped up by retail, right? Both could be hyped up by retail, but Casper especially, it has this massive community from retail um, because they truly think it's a coin for the people. No one really thinks Solana or Sui or Luna or any of these proof of stake or, you know, very VC backed coins. No one really thinks they're for the people, right? People genuinely think that with Casper, and that's a truly unique thing in the crypto space. So they balance out each other very well. They have a lot of differences. And for that reason, it leads to diversification in your portfolio. And I see a lot of people, they have this maxi mentality, and I don't like it. I think it's important to have different things balancing out different things in your portfolio. And Sui balances out Casper very well. I'm a lot more bullish on Casper. I have a lot more conviction in Casper. Casper, in my opinion, is lower risk as well. And consequently, I have Casper as a higher percentage, but both are great. So now we've talked about the kind of layer ones and the differences between these two. I think it's important to get into my third option for my blue chip high conviction play. And it makes a lot of sense because we've got two layer ones, which is by far the biggest narrative in crypto. It's always been that way and it always will be that way, in my opinion. And now we have something a bit different. We have an AI coin now. And the reason I have an AI coin as my high conviction play, as my blue chip play, is because of the success of AI, both in the mainstream, in terms of stocks and things like that, but also in terms of the crypto market. AI has been a dominant narrative why not go for the main AI giant, the main blue chip AI coin, which is going to last the whole bull run and go for Batenza Tau? The way I like to see the AI narrative is it's better to go for the best, most valuable coin rather than trying to gamble on some low caps, which really are just copy and paste coins with a load of esoteric nonsense, right? It's better to actually go for something which has a product and is genuinely potentially going to be here for a long, long time. And that is what Potenza Tau is for me. If you don't know about Potenza Tau, very simply, it is basically like open AI, but actually open. The problem with open AI is they're not open at all. They're completely closed source. They don't care about you. They're completely closed source and they just want to make AI completely biased and controlled by a select few. But Tensor Tau, on the other hand, is a massive AI platform for researchers and developers, which is actually open source, and it democratizes AI, allowing basically anyone to build something and obviously be rewarded for that. So they do that by their subnets, okay? Now, I don't want to get too much into the technology here, but if you go read into Potenza Tau, you're going to see all about their subnets, right? There's a big, big emphasis on this. And obviously, it basically means people can earn money doing that. And um, it's very seamless. There's no barrier to entry. And like I said, it essentially democratizes AI so that the future that we have in the AI sector is decentralized rather than heavily centralized by the few. So like I said at the very beginning, when I talked about Tao, the best way to understand it is like open AI, but actually open. It's an AI platform that's researching and developing different AI products, but it's done in a very decentralized way. And um, that for me is 
huge. Who knows how big OpenAI is going to get in terms of valuation over the next few years, right? Even if Batensa Tau just went to like 5% of that, it's going to be a huge valuation. So Tau is great. It also has good tokenomics. You can see a very strong similarity here with Bitcoin, and that's because that's been intentionally done. 21 million max supply, and you can go and look at the vesting. It's not too heavy, so we don't really need to worry about that too much. The chart looks very organic, and for me, this is the biggest blue chip AI coin. It's been very dominant, this bull run. It hasn't really crashed too badly, 50% right now, down from all-time highs. We've seen a lot worse than that in the AI sector. Some coins are down 80 or even 90% from that ATH earlier uh, this year. So Potenza Tau holding up strong, and that is a very clear reason as to why it's a good coin to hold. So over on the coin market cap page, this great sentence here really articulates what Potenza Tau is. It's a pure market for artificial intelligence an incentivized area in which consumers and producers of this valuable commodity can interact in a trustless, open, and transparent context. So both the creators and also the users of the technology can benefit using the Batensa token and the platform. So great project, and it really is the best AI coin out there. It's the blue chip of AI. People call it the Bitcoin of AI, and that is why it's making my top three. So you've got two layer ones, two coins in the biggest sector, and then one coin in the dominant sector for this bull run, which you can't really dispute that, right? Yes, memes have done well, but if we're talking like mainstream sectors which have done well, not just in crypto, but in the whole entire market around the world, it's been AI in the last couple of years. Everyone's been talking about it. And when people are talking about things, it usually tends to do well in crypto. Because the way I like to see crypto, it is essentially a decentralized casino for speculating on real world trends. And that is absolutely the case. We've seen it with Metaverse. We've seen it with AI. And I think we're still going to see it with AI going forward, maybe another year. Because AI probably is going to turn into a bubble where it does pop eventually. But I still think we're far from that. I still think there's a lot more money to be injected into the AI sector as a whole. So these are my free blue chips. Let me know what you think about them in the comment section down below. What are your free blue chips for this bull run? What are your free highest conviction altcoins? You know, around the top 50, top 100 in the market. Let me know in the comments. Also hit the like on the video if you enjoyed or you got any bit of value or entertainment from it. And make sure to be checking out my VIP group you can get all my buy alerts for crypto in this group. The main purpose of this group is to use low cap cryptos, use meme coins as a way to fill up our blue chip bags. So if you want more capital to buy these blue chip coins, I highly recommend joining this group because that's what we're doing on a routine basis. We're using low caps to get a, a quick kind of 5 to 15x on them, flip that money into a blue chip and get another 10, 20x on that. And before you know it, your initial capital that you put in, you're up one, two, 300x on that initial capital. So come join us. It's a great community. There's a massive Discord server. We have chat rooms for all the cryptos I mentioned today, if you're a fan of them. And it really is a great community where we all have the same goal, which is making money. Don't be a lone wolf in the space. Come join a collective group, all of the same aim. And I'm sure you're going to be happy and make a lot of money. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. And I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.